Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do a jeans haul because I told you in my last video that I was refreshing my jeans wardrobe. And so I wanna show you exactly everything that I bought recently. I've got two pairs from Abercrombie, two pairs from American Eagle, and a pair from Old Navy, which you already saw in my last video. But I wanna try all these on for you, give you some sizing references, how they fit me. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start with Abercrombie. I have on these mom jeans from Abercrombie, and I've had a hard time finding mom jeans that I like. I really like the trend, but I could not find any that looked right on me, and finally I found a company that makes the mom jeans in a short length. I am five foot six, but I have very short legs um, and a longer torso to make up that five foot six. But, so I buy a lot of my jeans in a short length, and when it comes to mom jeans, you definitely want them cropped and not too long and looking sloppy. So these are a heavily, heavily distressed pair from Abercrombie. I love the wash. Can you kind of see the wash on here? It's really, really cute. I love all of the distressing. The bottom is a regular hem. It's not distressed, which I really like. It's something different. But these are very high-waisted, and then the back, they fit really nicely. They're not too saggy. So see, they fit real nice across here, and then they go straight at the bottom. So I think they're very flattering on. They also run very true to size. I got a 28 short, and the 28s at Abercrombie have been fitting me. That is my true size, and these are, I think these are 100% cotton. There's no stretch to them whatsoever, but even still, they fit me perfectly. They don't like bag out or wear out too much because they're cotton. Um, they wear really, really nicely, and the 28 short fit perfect. So this is my second pair from Abercrombie. I got two just in case one of them didn't work. Um, I wanted to try both styles, but these are also a very high-waisted, and they're just ever so lightly distressed, but they have a distressed hem at the bottom. So these are the ones I showed in my video, just very light distressing. Has a little distressing on the pockets here, a little distressing on the back pockets as well. I think that's a really cute touch. But they fit about the same as the other ones. I also got these in a 28 short, and I loved both of them so much. I am keeping both. I have worn these a ton already. If you follow me on Instagram, well, you've probably already seen them a few different times because since they're not too distressed, but they have a little bit of interest, they just go with so much. Um, these are also the same, 100% cotton. They fit the same. They're just different washes, but I love them both. I also love this little line in front. Anything to give it a little bit of detail is really cute to me. Oh man, they're dirty. Guess it's time to wash them. I didn't even notice that. So for me, the mom jeans from Abercrombie have been wonderful. I love all of the Abercrombie jeans. One of my absolute favorite pairs of skinny jeans is from there. I'm gonna link that favorite pair as well in case you're looking for a darker pair of skinnies with some distressing on the bottom. But all the fit of their jeans are awesome like I have fallen in love with these hard and I'm just so glad to finally find a pair of mom jeans that fit me really well next up is the two I bought from American Eagle now a lot of times if they're size like a four six and not 27 or 28 I will get a four in a lot of different brands so I got these in a four short and they are pretty much too tight I'm gonna have to send these back and get a six you can see just how tight they are in the booty and like you can see like my belly pooching out right here. That means they're really, really too tight. But um, the short length is perfect for me. I like them to come just right above the ankle. But I'm going to have to exchange them for a six short. Uh, but I just thought these were so cute. They're a nice um, lighter color for spring. And then I love the button fly. These are really in style right now. And I think it just adds detail without adding a belt or anything. It just makes it look more interesting. These are not distressed at all. They're just a lighter wash, no distressing, regular hem at the bottom. So I think that you can wear these a lot. The pockets are pretty flattering in the back, but like I said, these are way too tight, so I'm gonna have to exchange them. Oh, I forgot to mention, these are also very high-waisted and my belly button is right here. So they both come up right to my belly button. So the next pair from American Eagle is another mom jean, but these are gonna be one of those that you either love or you hate. I personally love them, but they are a blown out pair of mom jeans. You can't even call these distressed anymore. They do call them blown out on the website, but they have huge holes in them and I really do like them. I do like to wear jeans in the summertime, so these will be perfect for the summer to get like some airflow without actually wearing shorts. 
Um, but I got these in a four regular. I wanted to just see where the regular comes on me. It's right below my ankle. And these fours are not excruciatingly tight. I believe these are also 100% cotton, so these do not fit nearly as tight as those other fours. The other fours were just excruciatingly tight and uncomfortable. These are a nice tightness that like holds in my belly. So these are high rise as well. The back is really flattering and tight enough across here and then goes straight underneath. But I really don't remember why I bought a regular and not a short. They do offer them in short. I think I may send these back and get the short so that I don't have to cuff them and they come up a little bit more right here. Let me show you how they look cuffed though. So if I ended up keeping the regulars, I would just cuff them once like this. Um, I think it would be a really cute look as well. You can see them here. But I really do like it when they like naturally come up a little bit higher, especially in a mom jean. So I'll probably send these back and get a short. One thing that is so nice about American Eagle is that they come in extra short, short, regular, long, and extra long lengths in all of their jeans. So there is so much to choose from. Just click on the little size chart and it'll tell you exactly what the length is for that certain pair of jeans. Um, all of the shorts are not the same length. All of the regulars are not the same length. It differs from pair to pair, like whether they're an ankle jean or a regular jean. So click on the little size chart icon to see exactly what the length is gonna be in the jeans. So yeah, this is definitely a particular look, but one that I really like, especially with like a graphic tee, maybe some tennis shoes or something, but I really like these. So my last pair is a white pair of jeans from Old Navy. I also showed you these in my last video, and I just posted them on Instagram a couple of days ago, but they are these white jeans from Old Navy with the copper button fly. I got these in the four regular because they did not come in short. At least I don't think that they did, but because they are considered an ankle jean, they are perfect on me on length, especially with that cute little slit detail. They just come right above my ankle. They are a raw hem and the regular length works perfect for me because they're considered an ankle length jean. As for the four, that's my typical size in Old Navy. These are a little bit tight, as you can see. I kind of feel a little bit like a stuffed sausage in them, but I'm afraid that the six would be too big. I'm not sure. I've already worn these. I am keeping them. I kind of figure that they're going to stretch out. But if ever I was going to consider sizing up in my regular Old Navy size, it would be in these white jeans. So I intentionally wore dark underwear with these so that you could see. I want to show you the side. I feel weird zooming in on my butt. See, you can see a faint line right there. So I'm wearing dark, oh, you can see, dark gray underwear so you could see how see-through they were. They really are a substantial material. So this is not as bad as a lot of white jeans that you'll see. And you can't see through the pockets, but you can see through this part where it's just one layer. So I did wanna show you that so you know just how see-through they are. When people say, oh, they're not see-through, well, I'm wondering what kind of underwear are they wearing with them? When I wear a nude thong, of course they're not see-through. But, um, so I just wanna show you just how see-through they were. So I really like these. I would highly suggest grabbing them now because they will sell out soon. If there's a really cute pair at Old Navy, they go so fast. And I don't know why I'm out of breath right now. Man, I am out of shape and I'm not pregnant, I promise, but I am way out of shape. But if you've ever gone to the store and tried on jeans and you're like stuffing yourself in skinny jeans like pair after pair, yeah. So if you're out of shape like me, you're probably out of breath too after like a jeans try on. So that is everything that I've picked up recently to update my jeans. Um, it's just gotten to where I don't wanna wear anything but high-waisted denim. It's all I wanna wear. I wanna tuck in that mommy tummy um, so that I can do a nice half tuck and my belly not be hanging over my jeans. It just makes me feel more comfortable, so I'm kind of slowly phasing out all the other jeans that I have and switching everything over to a really high rise pair. Hopefully I have covered everything that you'd be interested in on the jeans that I bought recently. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope that you found this helpful and I hope that you get a few new pairs of jeans for spring that are really cute and that you're comfortable in. I hope that you all have a great week and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.